What's up? This is a big episode I've been waiting to make a long time. Brewing my own beer. I have a lot of stuff that I have accumulated over the past week or so to make my first batch of homebrewed beer. So I'm going to be making a thing called Easy Wheat. Basically all it is is malt and hops. So I got my water, I got my buckets, I got my fermenter buckets, I got things to this thing, this tree to put my bottles on, and we are going to make the first batch of home brewed beer. So I got my pot in here, I haven't put water in it yet, but I'm gonna be putting it water in there soon. And then we'll get started. I'll try to break this video up into a couple parts so it's not too long. water for at least half an hour. Oh wait, we're getting close. Finally. Adding the malt and they gotta get it out and start stirring it. Well the first mistake I've made I think is I had too much water in there. Um, yeah so it's really close to the top but I gotta get this thing to a boil again and uh, trying to stir it up, make sure it doesn't burn in the bottom. And it was actually quite difficult to get the malt out. You can see there's still like some left. I might have to try to keep adding it, you know. Uh, but hopefully I can get this to a boil and uh, yeah, keep going. Okay, so I think we've finally gotten the second boil. Now I'm going to pitch, not pitch, uh, now I'm going to put the hops in. I got these kind of flakes in there. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if that's from the burned, uh, malt that got briefly on the bottom when I was stirring and I didn't get quite get it all or when I was stirring but hopefully it'll be okay. I am now adding the hops. My mother does not approve of me making this in the her kitchen. So we have about 20 minutes to go and the hops are just still sitting in here and we are boiling I think just enough, hopefully it's gonna be enough, and uh, yep, almost there. We just finished the boil, and now I just placed the wort inside an ice cooler thing to cool it down quickly, and we're gonna start the fermentation process once it gets down to 75 degrees. There you have it, we have five gallons in here now. I just put the Wart with extra water added inside to make five gallons. So I might have made a boo-boo because I forgot. I thought this was just gonna be, hey, just pour the yeast in and that's it. You've pitched the yeast. But no, there are instructions that you have to do and I didn't do them. Like, I have to like break the, the bag inside and then what you let it sit for three hours. So I didn't do that, so I ended up pouring both liquids in separately and then, yeah, just stirring it in, into the uh, wort. So, this could be a bad thing. Uh, if it doesn't turn out well, probably a good reason why it did, and, and hopefully it's gonna, uh, you know, ferment, ferment. So, we'll see, but now I'm gonna put the cap on and see if, there's bu if the bubbles rise, that means it is fermenting, so. See. I have here is my hydrometer, which tells if it's beer for the beer and wine. Sorry, it's not focusing well. But as you can see, it is in the beer category, and now it has to get to where the blue line is, and that's what it means it would be when it's fermented. So what I have here is a mini fermenter, and in this beer bottle, I have a little bit of beer, which I'll use to test periodically and the hydrometer to see if the beer has done fermenting. That is, if it will finish fermenting if I didn't ruin it by not following the directions. So, we'll see now. So, it's the next day, and this morning I woke up and I was really worried because the airlock was not bubbling, but this afternoon I checked it again, and look! That bubbling means 
is, it's fermenting. Tune in the next video, and I'll tell you how it turns out.